So first, let's look at adverbs definition. According to Cambridge Dictionary, adverb is a word that describes or gives some information about a verb, an adjective, an adverb itself, or phrase. In this chapter, we are going to learn three types of adverbs, which are adverbs of time, adverbs of place, and the last one, adverbs of frequency. So start with adverbs of time. The first one, one knee, one knee, one means day, and knee is the distance modifier means this. So one knee means today. The next one, เมื่อวาน, เมื่อวาน. Be careful that. This one is the long vowel, so it's เมื่อวาน, เมื่อวาน. While today is a short vowel, we say วันนี้, วันนี้. So เมื่อวาน means yesterday. And then พรุ่งนี้, พรุ่งนี้ means tomorrow. The next one is ทั้งวัน, ทั้งวัน. Tang means whole or all. So Tang Wan means whole day or all day. The next one is Kuni Kuni Kun means night and Ni means this. So Kuni actually means tonight. The next one is เมื่อคืน เมื่อคืน means last night and คืนพรุ่งนี้คืนพรุ่งนี้คืน means night พรุ่งนี้ means tomorrow so คืนพรุ่งนี้ means tomorrow night and the last one of this slide is ทั้งคืน ทั้งคืน which means the whole night or all night. So now let's have a look at this sentence. This sentence has ฉัน, ฉัน as a subject and then จะไป, จะไป as the verb number one and then กิน, กิน means to eat at Verb number two. And then the object is cow. Cow, which means food or rice, or it depends on the context. And the rest of the sentence are complement, giving more information. So this sentence is วันนี้ฉันจะไปกินข้าวกับเพื่อนที่ร้านอาหารตอนเย็น. วันนี้ฉันจะไปกินข้าวกับเพื่อนที่ร้านอาหารตอนเย็น Which literally means Today I will go to eat food with friend at the restaurant in the evening But you don't really know how many of friends are there in the restaurant So you can see that there are actually two adverbs of time in the sentence which are วันนี้ and ตอนเย็น. But now let's look at another sentence. It is เย็นนี้ฉันจะไปกินข้าวกับเพื่อนที่ร้านอาหารเย็นนี้ฉันจะไปกินข้าวกับเพื่อนที่ร้านอาหาร These two sentences have the same meaning but just the second sentence that they used yenni which means this evening instead of wanni and tonyen together so this literally means this evening i will go to eat food or rice with friend at the restaurant so the point of this slide is both of them are correct so it doesn't matter how many adverbs you added in the sentence but you have to add them in the right position, which normally 
or at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence. So now let's learn adverb of time number two. So the first one, chào ni, chào ni. The word chào means morning. Chào means morning. And ni means this. So chào ni means this morning. The next one, bài ni, bài ni. Can you remember what does by mean from the previous chapter? Give you some time. Yeah, it means afternoon. So by ni means this afternoon. And if you would like to say tomorrow afternoon, you can say by prung ni. By prung ni. The next one is Yen ni, yen ni. Actually, as I told you before, yen has several meanings, but in this case, it means evening. So, yen ni means this evening. The next one is ton ni, ton ni. When ton means when. For statement sentence, so Tony means now or this moment. Konani, konani, kona means before. So konani literally means before this. And the last one, lang tak ni, lang tak ni. Lang jak means after. So I think it's easier now to get the meaning. So it means after this. After this. Lang jak ni. So now examples for how to use ton ni and lang jak ni. The first one, it is ton ni kun tam a rai yu. ตอนนี้คุณทำอะไรอยู่ which has ตอนนี้ as an adverb คุณ as a subject ทำ as a verb อะไร as the question word and then 
u as a continuous particle to make this sentence become continuous sentence. So this sentence literally means what are you doing now? What are you doing now? And let's have a look at the second sentence, which is example for lang jak ni, lang jak ni, which means after this. So it says, lang jak ni, chan ja, tang jai rian pa sa thai. Lang jak ni, chan ja, tang jai rian pa sa thai. It has chan as a subject. จะตั้งใจ which means will pay attention to as the verb number one and then เรียน which means to study or to learn as the verb number two and then ภาษาไทย as an object so this sentence means after this I will pay attention to study Thai will you So now let's learn adverbs of time number three. The first one is แล้วแล้ว which means already. The second one is เร็วเร็วนี้เร็วเร็วนี้ The word เร็ว means fast or rapid. So เร็วเร็วนี้ can be recently or soon. The third one is ที่หลังที่หลัง which means later, and the fourth one is ต่อมาต่อมา or another word that has a similar meaning is แล้วก็แล้วก็ they both mean next or and then. For the first three, they are mostly added at the end of the sentence, while the last two are added at the beginning or as a conjunction. So now let's have a look at these three sentences. They are example sentences for แล้วเร็วๆนี้ and ที่หลัง So the first one is an example for แล้ว. The sentence is ฉันเหนื่อยแล้ว. ฉันเหนื่อยแล้ว. ฉัน as a subject. เหนื่อย as an adjective means tired. And then แล้ว as an adverb describing the adjective. And don't forget that adjectives always follow nouns. So this sentence means, I am tired already. I am tired already. ฉันเหนื่อยแล้ว The second example, หนังเรื่องใหม่จะเข้าโรงเร็วๆนี้หนังเรื่องใหม่จะเข้าโรงเร็วๆนี้ In this sentence, หนังเรื่องใหม่ is a subject. Which means a new movie. Nang means movie, and Ruang literally means story. And also, it is a classifier for a movie. And จะเข้าโรงจะเข้าโรงอาฟอร์แอนด์ออบเจกต์ means will be broadcast or on air in the cinema. And then เร็วเร็วนี้ As an adverb means soon or recently. So this sentence literally means a new movie will be on air in the cinema soon. And the third sentence, เขาจะตามพวกเรามาทีหลังเขาจะตามพวกเรามาทีหลัง In this sentence, has เขา which means he. As a subject, and จะตาม as a verb means will follow, and then มา that is because he will follow to come to see us. So if you will follow to see someone else, you say ตามไปตามไป 
But in this case, he will follow to see us, to meet us. That's why we say tama. So the meaning of this sentence is he will follow us later. เขาจะตามพวกเรามาทีหลัง He will follow us later. And now let's move on to adverbs of place. The first one is Tini. Tini means here. The next one, Tinan. Tinan means there. The next one, Tinon. Tinon means those over there. And the last one, Tokti. Tokti means everywhere. So now let's learn adverbs of frequency. For adverb of frequency, there are a few words that I would like to teach you. The first one is summer, summer, which means always. The second one is boy, boy, which means often. The third one is makja, makja, which means usually. The next one is Bangkrang, Bangkrang, which means sometimes. Bang means some, and Krang means time. And then Khoi, Khoi, which means ever or used to. The next one is Nananti, Nananti, which means rarely. So we have Khoi, and now we have my khoi, my khoi, which means never. And the last one, tuk one, tuk one means every day. So summer is the most frequency, and then my khoi is the least one. Normally, adverbs of frequency are added at the end of the sentence, except. Two words which are "kai" and "my kai," which are normally added after nouns. For example, "chan kai pai," "chan kai pai," I used to go, or "chan mai kai pai," "chan mai kai pai," I never been. So now let's learn how to use "to." Tok, which means every. So the first one, Tok we na ti. Tok we na ti. We na ti means second. So Tok we na ti means every second. And then Tok na ti. Tok na ti. Na ti means minute. So Tok na ti means every minute. For example, I can say, "Chan rakun tuk na ti." Chan rakun tuk na ti. I love you every minute. And the next one, "Tuk chua mong." Tuk chua mong. Chua mong means hour. So "Tuk chua mong" means every hour. And then "Tuk we la." Tuk we la. We la means time now, and tuk we la means every time, all the time. You can it also can mean like that. The next one tuk krang, tuk krang, krang means time, and then tuk krang means every time also. Tuk dian, tuk dian, dian means month. So tuk dian means every month. Tuk sam dian, tuk sam dian, every two months. <laughs> Sorry, every three months. And then tuk song dian. Yes, this one is every two months. And then tuk kon. Kon means human or people. It's classifier. So tuk kon means everybody, everyone. 
ทุกตัวทุกตัวตัว is a classifier for animal and also clothes and furniture so but in this case I assume it as a classifier for an animal so ทุกตัว means every animal ทุกแก้วทุกแก้วแก้ว mean glass so ทุกแก้ว means every glass like a glass of beer a glass of water and then the last one ทุกอันทุกอัน and is actually a universal classifier and it also means piece of something so ทุกอัน can be every piece everything like every piece of something so this is how we use ทุก so ทุก plus classifier this is how we use it so this is all of the chapter 14 and i will see you in the next chapter